and a fire a little closer to Denver is also keeping crews busy. Our Steve Steger joins us live now from Jefferson County. Steve, what do we know? Jalisa, this fire is burning just to the west of Ken Carroll Ranch. I'm actually to the west of that fire right now near Inner Canyon Fire District 1, joined now by Dan Hattlestead, who's the public information officer for Inner Canyon Fire. Tell me a little bit more about this. We know the call came in around 2 o'clock, just after 2 o'clock. What, what's going on up there? Many residents in the area saw that smoke plume pop up just after 2 p.m. today. Firefighters had initially a difficult time really finding the fire because of its very remote location. Since then, we now have over 30 firefighters working on the fire with over 20 fire trucks. 20 fire trucks. So, and you're saying, what, what does this area look like up there? Because I've, we've seen some of the pictures. It looks like it's a lot of kind of lower brush, not a lot of big, tall trees and everything. We're seeing a lot of scrub oak, which flares up and burns very intensively. We've also seen a lot of grassy fuels, and that carries the fire with this breeze of about 10 to 15 miles an hour from one area of brush to another. So firefighters really struggle to keep up with the fire and create containment tonight. Any idea on a cause? Cause at this point is undetermined, but we just don't know. Good news here, no structures immediately threatened, anything like that. The closest structure are homes in the West Ranch area, about half a mile away. We do have fire apparatus and firefighters positioned in the area to protect those homes in case the fire does flare up. Well, Dan Hattlestead from Inner Canyon Fire, we really appreciate you taking the time here. So the good news is, as you heard Dan say, not too many homes near this area. No, nothing is threatened right now. No evacuations. I, I should have asked you that, but I know that there aren't evacuations in the area. So, Kim, uh, so people could be a little calm tonight if you did see that smoke in the sky. Know that there's a team working on this now. They're going to probably be here throughout the night trying to get to that fire and get containment around it. Yeah, a lot of people noticed it, that's for sure. And we know how dry we are, so I think it scares everyone every time we see some smoke out there. Absolutely. I mean, the skies were hazy today, and I know that had a lot to do with the weather, but it also had a lot to do with the smoke in the air from the fire burning in Idaho Springs. You could smell it from our house in Centennial this morning, and now this fire too. Oh, okay. All right. Thank you, Steve.